Section 1.2. I'm going to start by telling you a story about my puppy. This is my puppy, Gauss. And he is named after Gauss, which is a famous German mathematician. And my dog's a German Shepherd mix. So um, we named him after this very smart mathematician. And one of the stories about this mathematician is when he was young, uh, he was in a class and the teacher just, oh, this class was loud. And so one day they just to keep them busy, she said, could you just add up all the numbers to 100 and tell me how much that is? And Gauss, joke was on her, Gauss only took a couple minutes and he said, easy, it's this, because he used a special method. And that's what we're going to learn about today, how to quickly add up arithmetic sequences. And when we add up a sequence, it's called a series. So adding up sequence is called a series. So if we had 3, 8, 13, that is a sequence of a common difference of 5. But if we want to know what 3 plus 8 plus 13, now that is called a series. So it's like we replace the commas with plus signs. Okay? So you have some key information in your uh, workbook. First of all, the definition of a series. It's the sum when you add the terms of a sequence together. Um, Next thing that might be important is these two formulas. There's two formulas that can be used, and you use them depending on what information you know. When we're talking about series, we go SN when we're talking about the sum. So remember before when we wanted the general term, it was TN of a sequence. When we want to add up a sequence, or in other words, when we want to know a series, it's SN. Okay, so these are two very important formulas, and depending on what we know, we're going to use one formula or the other. And generally, in grade 11, you get more comfortable with one formula than the other, but we're going to be able to do them both. So here's an example where this could be used. A toy car is rolling down an inclined track, picking up speed as it goes. The car travels 4 centimeters in the first second, 8 centimeters in the next, 12 centimeters in the third second, and so on. So this is accelerating, okay? What it says is how far does it go in the 50th second? So now it's saying if you go on, here's after 50 seconds, how fast is it going? This is after three seconds, two after one second, and that's not a fraction. Maybe I'll make it look not like a fraction, okay? So the first one says how far does it go? In other words, we're really trying to find the 50th term. We're trying to find T50. What I know is I know term 1. Term 1 is going to be 4. I can figure out the difference. I can go 8 minus 4 is 4, or I can go 12 minus 8 is 4. We keep adding 4 each time. And now I could figure out that 50th term by using the formula that we use, that we learned last time. Remember, it was T1 plus N minus 1 times D. And N in this case is 50. So the 50th term is equal to the first term, 4, plus 50 minus 1 differences. And the difference is 4. So T50 is equal to 4 plus 49 times 4. So let's do some math here. I have 4 plus, well, 50 times 4 is 200, but I'm going to subtract, but that's 4 less than that. So that's 196. So that means 200. So in the 50th second, it's gone 200. Okay? That's a lot of centimeters. Two, uh, that's 2 meters in one second. Wow. Okay, so that's A. B says now determine the total distance. So what I'm saying is I'm adding now. So after two, after the first second it went four, and then it did eight second, eight centimeters in the next second. So after second one and two is passed, it's gone twelve, and then after the next one it's gone a total of twenty-four. So I'm adding together. Okay, so what I know is this is two hundred right here. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I want to find the sum, S of 50. And remember that it depends what information we use, which formula. So there's two formulas. The first formula I need to know is, do I know N, 50? 
Do I know term 1? Yes. Do I know n? Yes. And do I know d? Yes. I could use the first one. Could I use the second one? Do I know n? Yes. Do I know term 1? Yes. Do I know tn? Do I know that last term? I do. So I could use either formula. I'm going to use this one because this one is shorter. So Sn equals n over 2 plus the first and last term together. Okay? So that formula was Sn equals n over 2, and it's going to be the first term plus the last term. Okay? So I want to know the sum of the first 50 terms. I go n, so 50 is the number of terms, n over 2. Term 1 is going to be, we said was 4, plus the last term, the 50th term, term n, term 50, we said was 200. Oops, is that another zero there? Okay, so this is equal to 25. I have to do my brackets. 4 plus 200 is 204. So 204 times 25. 25 times 204 equals 5,100. So in total, after 50 seconds, it's gone 51 meters, because this is 5,100 centimeters. Okay? So, so this goes back to what Gauss did. This is how Gauss did this. What he did is he said we're adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to 100. He said, well, my common difference is 1. I keep going up by 1. My term 1 was 1. My term 2, sorry, not my term 2, my last term, or in other words, my, my last term, my term 100, was 100. And he used the formula. To add all 100 terms, he went 100 divided by 2, and he did, the first term was 1 plus the last term, 100. So he said it's 50 times 101, which is going to be the answer, 5,100. Sorry, that's not right. That's 50-50. I just got mixed up because that was similar to the answer here, which unrelated. Okay, so that's what he did. He quickly did this. He said, well, if I add 100 plus 1, it's 101. If I add 99 plus 2, that's 101. I have all these groupings. I have these 50 groupings of 101. If I pair them each up, so this would be 98 plus 3, 97 plus 4. All of those equal 101. I have 50 groupings of 101. So he was brilliant and definitely worth naming my dog after. Okay, so all it is is we're getting our known information, and then we're subbing it into two different formulas, okay? So depending on what you know, you may use SN, this first one, or the second one. You can always find the last term if you've been given enough information. So this one you can use, but sometimes without finding that last term, you can use this one, okay?